Ooh, I think that's coming through now. Am I live? Can I hear myself? Straight. I think that's coming through now. Oh, yes, I hear myself. Okay, good. We are live. Excellent. We are prepping for season three. As the new update has dropped today, and as I uh, manage all my windows here. One second. Oh, God. I didn't realize that it would go live immediately, so I'm panicking. Ah. There we go. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Ha ha! I'm ready. My character has his one foot off of the edge of the rover. <laughs> yes. There we go. He, he needs to be looking up into the horizon. Oh, it's a better position. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another impromptu gorilla stream. As the new update is out, so we are on the new planet. Wee! Ah, oh, it's so dusty. <laughs> it is dusty. Ah, uh, I believe it is out for Xbox. I believe they have done that. Uh, where is this? So, ah, there's my thing again. Ah! Come back here, survival rover. There you are. So, I am setting up the scenario for myself for season three. And the idea behind season three is it's going to be a grand tour of the new planet. Along with that, I'm going to make it hard on myself. Mainly being, you can see in the top left there, I've got daily needs so that I actually have to feed myself and have to keep myself uh, hydrated. Along with that, we're going to have installations. So, like, we've got a fueling station over here. So, these installations will be a uh, sort of uh, danger and tempting because I may want to raid them for goodies, but I might not want to have to deal with them because they're annoying and they have guns. But I've been I've been flying around and looking at this planet for a while now. Holy crap, there's hardly any water on this planet. Like there is hardly any ice. Like there is ice. It exists. But it is in these like tiny little deposits. And I'll just see if I can I can spot one flying around. So there's some minerals there, some ores, some ores there. Ores are scarce as well. There's like giant freaking deserts where there's no ice at all. But every so often there's like this little dark patch and oh, like that. There you go. There's your ice. If I teleport uh, my character here, um, this should be. Yeah, there's your ice. This tiny little dark patch. And it's like, it's not even the surface. All this is just rock. The ice is actually way the hell down there. You have to drill for it. Oh yeah, turbines will work on this planet. You know, they're, it's an atmospheric planet, so turbines will work. Uh, so we'll throw on creative here so I can... Boop, and then... Turbine. Boop. And it starts spinning. We're good. But yes, I will uh, trash removal for voxels. Yeah, I will enable that. So this will get uh, cleaned up when I move away. But I can take myself back to my rover, wherever the hell I put it. And I've just been flying around the planet, um, picking out some spots. Uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a grand tour. So let me zoom out. We're going to have the planet. 
the goal is that we're going to circumnavigate the planet. We're going to drive all the way around it using nothing but rovers. Oh, and if you have any questions about the update, a couple hours ago I just put out a 20-something minute video that goes over every single thing in the update, so you should go watch that. But the idea for this is that I'll start at some random location. Uh, while I'm setting up, I'm going to create like a, uh, a station or a beacon or a starting line sort of thing. And then I have to go through a series of checkpoints around the planet. And they will be uh, various you know, geological features and such. Uh, so for example, there's some dried lakes. Uh, there's an oasis over here that I thought was really cool. Uh, yeah, this is, there's like some oases in these canyons here. Uh, is it oasis number three? Oh yeah, this oasis. It's like at the very, very bottom of a canyon. And so you'd have to get down out of, get into this canyon somehow. And then once you get to the oasis, I'd have to build something here. To represent that I've been here, like I have to complete a projection that I'm going to set up or something like that. And then I have to then move on to the next one. I'm going to have a list of GPS of like waypoint 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sort of thing. And I can only turn them on when I've reached the waypoint I've been to. So I can have them doubling back on themselves if I want to. So like... With this oasis here, let me just, uh, uh mm, admin tools, make it daytime here, so I can actually see. I would have to come down into the canyon somehow, uh, probably, uh, well, probably in one of these gaps here, right? Because I have to do this all with rovers. That is the rule. I, myself, as a player character, or any grid that I am inhabiting at that moment, cannot be under powered flight. Now, if I want to be a glider, that's fine. But if I am under powered flight, that is not fine. And my rover is all lost. It's somewhere out there. Uh, there you are. There you are, my little rover. Let's, uh, get back to my rover. And we'll take it with us. So, today was just me setting up the scenario and, uh, thinking about how to do it. Uh, temporarily, I think I'm going to go and turn daily needs off so I don't have to think about it while I'm working. And then I'll turn it back on when I actually do anything. Uh, edit setting, mods. So for the mod list, uh, we've got, you know, the, the prerequisite mods for stuff. Some easy inventory, build vision, aw scrap. So I can't just like grind something down and rebuild it. I have to reprocess it. Um, something I want to add is small ship mega mod pack, wherever that hell that is in my list here. Hey, small ship mega mod pack, boom. We get rid of daily needs for now. We'll put it back in when, later. Um, but other stuff, the, we've got like this stuff up here is just my standard, like colorful icons, easy inventory, build vision, all scrap, build info, just so that I can, you know, have that information. Then a compass, so that way I can figure out which way I'm going. We have the modular encounter spawner with both air traffic, surface occupation, and then assertive cargo bunkers and installations and cargo ships. The perpetually perturbed pirates. And that way I'll have some enemies attacking us and then we'll put on a faster cargo spawn rate. So that way things will just constantly going at us. And the music is probably loud. So let's just load back in there. 
and start setting up waypoints. Start figuring out where I want to drive. Yeah. And the entire time, no jetpack. So yeah, that's the whole thing about this next season three is going to be all rover. And I'm excited for that because I haven't done much rovering. And they said in the last, uh, like in the, they had the live stream earlier today, watched it while I was working. And uh, survival less likely. I'll, no, I do not have that survival less likely. Is that a mod or is that his scenario? Like if he has a mod that like makes it all into one package, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to look at that in a moment here. But the idea being we've got different uh, different geological features. So like there's this mountain here. So I thought, oh, maybe I want to get to the top of that mountain. There's various canyons and lake beds and stuff. And uh, there's another another mountain top here that I thought looks cool. Yeah, you can after build up to get to this uh, for the rest of it there is this giant crevasse that just goes through the majority of the planet here uh, my rover is driving along stay still rover We go through, we just fly on through this crevasse. It is deep. It would absolutely suck being trapped down here. You'd have to, like, what is that? Like the movie, like 127 hours or something like that, where the guy's stuck in a, a canyon? It'd be like that, but with your rover, you'd have to bash your way out. It'd probably be easier just to start drilling up at a 45 degree angle in order to get out. I forgot to pray to the Lord and destroy a clang. I'll hail clang! <laughs> no, we're doing that in the next episode of the uh, season two to end it off. And oh my god, phone, stop beeping. Phone. Quiet. Ugh, ringtones is off. Make it. Day. There we go. There is this giant crevasse and it seems like I'm gonna have to cross this crevasse multiple times throughout this adventure which makes me very happy about that <laughs> I'm going to be building bridges multiple multiple bridges goes all the way to there let's take a fly so that then sort of two go that way one come up this way then splits into two sort of has like this island with various mountains in the center of it this one goes along here like it literally circumnavigates the goddamn planet with how long this crack goes through it and if you come back around the other side the it's somewhere over here where it starts up again but yeah Uh, how deep is that canyon? Uh, let's find out. Uh, this is one of the cool places I thought I could go to. Let me just plop my rover here. Rover is smart enough to land on his wheels. I designed it that way. So even if you dropped it upside down from a distance, it would very smartly land correctly. Let's uh, let's take it over here. So this crevasse. Make it day at this location. I'm just flying around the planet so much I have to move the sun to keep up with me. If the rover is there, and I take my camera down to the bottom of these here, to the very bottom, they are about 700 something meters deep. 700 something. And it's like, it's like human wide? 
at the bottom. Yeah, it's like one person wide down here. But you could traver traverse these down. If you had like a motorbike, you could drive this. Ah. That's the end of this section. Oh no, it goes on this way. I just didn't f catch the turn. Whee! Okay. Back on up to my Sarava Rover. Yeah, so far, Brandon just joined. Uh, just exploring the planet, checking it out, planning some stuff for Season 3. So, my goal in laying out the waypoints that I have to meet is to force myself through some of these obstacles. So, for example, I think this desert plateau here needs to be visited because it would force me, as you can see, it is surrounded by canyon. I would have to cross the canyon. So, therefore, I have to... Uh, figure out how to do that. Am I making a bridge? Am I shooting myself across in a catapult? Whatever I do, I can't be under powered flight. But I could throw myself. I could make a giant ramp and jump it like Evil Knievel. But whatever I do, I must get to the waypoint here and then build a specific thing at that waypoint to represent that I have been there. And then after, I don't know, like half a dozen different waypoints would probably loop me around the planet. So, okay, let's, let's arbitrarily pick a starting location and start planning this out. So this here is my east and west. That's my equator. Just looking at the sun spin. So let's pick somewhere on the qu equator. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm turning off the jump. Uh, I'm turning off the jetpack completely. Like, no jetpack at all. Not just, like, weak jetpack. Just no jetpack. Let's see. What's a waypoint that I've made that's on the equator? Oh, and, uh, oh start in... An oasis. That sounds like an amazing proposition. I kind of want to visit that oasis, though. Ah, this one's easy to drive out of. We can then set that one as our first initial goal to get to another oasis. Boop. Teleport my stuff here. Rover. Super smart. Lands on its wheels like a good little rover. God, I love all the uh, uh, scripts I've put into this thing. Oh yeah, I'm sure that some mods will need to get updated. The, the goal is to do circumnavigation. This is just the starting location. We're going to have to go from here. All right, so that is going to be an oh, so oasis number two is going to be our waypoint one. Number one, starting oasis. So then from there, if I'm not mistaken, oasis, this oasis here, the one just over there, that's pretty much on the east-west uh, line. So that gets me going. And it gets me going in which direction here? That's the starting oasis. Oasis 1 is pretty much east. So we're going to be heading east the entire time. Head east. So oasis 1 will be... Waypoint number two. 
I'll name all these later. And now, just to continue looking for cool things to drive to this entire time. So we can also go north and south from this. Uh, there's this one down here. This is a mountain that I saw. Nice, big, craggy mountain. That would then lead us across the gap there as the next thing to do. Or we can also double back, get across the thinner gap. Uh, do it with a water mode. I'm not sure if I want to do this with water. I'm thinking season... Uh, season 3 is probably not going to be terribly long. Like, I kind of want to bang it out and like... The current season is like 60-something episodes. Like, I want to do it in like 20 episodes, maybe? I don't want to... Like... Hang around and do this... <laughs> particular season very long. I want to have a nice, good season and get it done. Oh, that? Okay, that looks kind of cool. So from this waypoint, I'll get up here and then I'll see this horizon and I'll see that mountain there. And that's our next goal. Or is this, is this a mountain? Should I keep every single goal within sort of eyesight? Ah, maybe not. Where should be the next goal? What is the... the ooh. Mm, this is a big plateau. What else we got around here? I really wish there was some, like, weird, uh, physical, like, weird geological stuff. You know, just like some random pillars. You know, that'd be cool. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Tamamiki. Is you have to make a laser antenna network that coats the planet that way yeah you have to keep everything at a visual distance um question is how to power them i could just all right let's see let's do a test i got creative mode on for a reason we'll come back to here so this is going to be waypoint two uh, if I put a laser tower on top of here, yes, it would be able to see waypoints to waypoint two from here. So let me just get out of my rover. Okay, good. And let's plop down a laser antenna right here. Laser. And let's see how much power this thing needs. Because it's going to need one there. We'll put down a battery. And then let's haul ass over to waypoint two. Which then I might need to build up a, a tall tower. But this one I'll just uh, do a test plopping it down right here. Mm, that and I should be able to access that laser antenna. Uh, b -b -b 50 kilometers. How far is that? Is 10 kilometer range? Uh, did I? Oh, Takamiki. Sorry, I read your name wrong. I'm sorry. I I I'm looking over uh, on the other monitor here, trying to be like, hmm. Uh, copy this antennas. Coordinates, excellent. Now we'll head back to the other antenna. And we'll feed it the coordinates. Ah. We'll paste the coordinates. We'll connect those, searching for a laser, rotating laser towards antenna, trying to establish connection connected to laser antenna. Wonderful. 
Current usage is 102 kilowatts. So, 102 kilowatts. Uh, that is... Oh, I forgot. I don't have my jetpack. Can I just plop a wind turbine down here? No, not over there. Yeah, life is hard without a jetpack. Yeah, okay. Oh, I will totally make a bridge laying rover. Totally. All right. Okay, the problem is these kind of take so many superconductors and detector components. Radio components. That's going to mean a lot of gold. I have no idea how many how much resources are on this uh this planet. But I could hmm cuz I'm already going to have to travel around the planet setting up these waypoints. And I'm going to have to mine the resources to make them as I go. Hmm. But I mean, this works. We got this laser ch connected. Uh. Ah, flyover. I'm not doing any flight. This is an entirely rover-based series, which is going to be stupid, and I love it. Uh, and then f I will need an additional laser antenna to connect to one that is going back that way. So essentially, I just need to go my way around the planet, and then every time I stop, I need to be like, oh, there's the next height of land. I need to get to it. No flying. So, like, there's this height of land where this laser antenna is, and then I'll actually have to build it, like, right here, right here, so that way I can see in the distance this way. And then what? Like, this, whatever this is, this height of land. Is my next laser antenna? <laughs> Seems to be. Let's make a quick GPS point here. Boop, boop. And what? There? It's not really like a height of land. It's pretty low down here. We only go a couple kilometers. Ooh, ooh, does this... Is this a height of land that I can actually see from there? Oh no, it's below the horizon! Shit. But I, I do like that idea of having to do a laser antenna connection the entire thing. Yeah, I'll have to make a tower here, definitely. So, like, that's at the surface where that waypoint is. And if I raise up... Oh god, I don't want this tower to be huge. Something like this high? Like a... Like a 250 meter tower? So that's like 100 blocks high? <laughs> to be able to... To see that next major height of land? You need flight. There will be no flight. Not in this series. Now, hydrogen thrusters is going to be easier because they made hydrogen way easier in this last update. Ooh, there's some ice there. These these out like these little outcroppings of ice are going to be like my lifeblood. And then freaking refueling station gonna shoot the shit out of me. We'll just plop my butt right here. Take another GPS point. What else can I do? F 
from there, there's like hardly anything here. It's just these tiny little rocks. I'll just have to make like a GPS, like a, like a tower or something in the sky. I have to arm them from NPCs, definitely. I will have to do that. Hopefully, once I'm far enough away from them, it won't be an issue. And they can just, you know, take care of themselves. Here's the next major height of land. Another GPS coordinate there. See, on the what I'm what I'm worried about though is that I'm not gonna have enough gold to do this stuff. So like laser antenna is a hundred superconductors, sixty radio communication, thirty detector. We just throw down an assembler real quick. So if I say into my assembler here. Make me large block at laser antenna. I'm gonna need iron nickel. I need 66.67 gold per. Okay. Oh, I can buy gold at stations. Yeah. 66.67 gold per is not too bad. I could give myself at the beginning like a little bit of gold to get started or maybe like the resources to make the first uh, antenna just so I have a bit more time to find some gold and then go on from there. Yeah, I can definitely also scavenge it, that's for sure. God, I keep forgetting. I have no jetpack! I can't fly! Then after here, things start to get rocky. We got some rocky mountains. Because <laughs> at, at the very end, this should be like the beacons of Gondor. And we should have like this like pan over of the entire planet as like the beacons are lit, you know, sort of. <laughs> Uh, uh, build and repair? Probably not. Maybe. Build and repair would make life easier, but I'm not sure if I need it. Uh, continuing which way? Continuing eastwards is that way, which fly back to my character real quick. And line up with him. That is eastwards. Various mountains and such. And then, oh, the desert. Good, I really want to cross a desert. That's just the great southern desert. It's just the great desert that I found. So beautiful. Uh, there we are. Just imagine being stuck out in the middle of this desert with your essential needs mod on and not having any water. And you're just driving not knowing when you're going to crest the horizon. Where will the end of the desert be? Sort of feeling. You, you see it. Something on the horizon. And it is there. And then you got to cross that. 
Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's get back to my... Ooh, a lookout tower. <laughs> oh, they've met. They've said they fixed a lot of the random uh, real explosions. Oh, and yeah, this will be the first time I played with weather. Goddamn weather is kicking up. Uh, remove weather. There we go. I can actually see things. So then from here, I'm going east. Uh, I don't need to get my rovers up to these places every single time. Like, I can get my rover close and then climb my person up to, like, here, a couple kilometers away. Great from there. You've discovered the Universal Alliance. Nice. And then if I want to go to these places to trade or do stuff, I have to go off the path. What do you guys sell? What are you guys? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not the way into the base. What's the way into your base? There we go. Not going to close automatically. It's just going outdoors. Where is your... There we go. Contracts. I can do contracts. You know, if I had extra ore. And store. Yeah. I could plug up, get some oxygen, get some hydrogen, get any components I needed. Definitely. I'll definitely visit some of these places. If I felt like I was crazy, I could attack some of these places too. And go after unknown signals. Uh, is there a spot for my rover to hook? No. There is no spot for my rover to hook. Oh, here. I would have to, uh... I'd have to build something that could hook to that. Something that would uh, extend up on a piston or something along those lines. Alright, this is where our last was. Eastwards is pointing in that direction. Well, oh, we gotta go a little south. Or no, what is this? A little north. We hit this uh, plateau here. Ow. That'd be the next waypoint. Yeah, that's uh, within line of sight. And then from there, what do we got? Ooh, is that like a big long one? Let me go. Ooh, this would be in line of sight. Nice. That That is a long one. Right to the horizon. Then from here, uh, let's reset my east bearing towards the sunrise. Oh, what there? Right here. Hmm. I love this little craggy outpost. Yes, perfect. Right here. Oh, I'm totally making a rover that builds a bridge. It's going to be like a uh, rover that will sort of like slowly creep forward and like uh, kind of do the similar to what the uh, inchworm did. Where it like just inched along using connectors or something like that. This time it'll sort of roll along very nice and slow. Uh, so from there towards the sun. 
We can get to the, uh, probably the edge of this ridge. And then we're just going to head into... Hmm, I wonder if I should bounce back and forth through this, this canyon a bit better. Because if I can go from here... Instead to that guy, which is way further away. Yeah, that's better. I can make a, a clear shot this way. So I'll get rid of waypoint 10. That one's gone. Recreate waypoint 10. So yeah, from there to there. It's a little bit off of east, but it is at least getting me further. And hey, there's some resources up here. Uh, what are these resources, anyway? Some silicon. Very nice. That way. <gasps> A defense installation! Oh, I have to avoid that. Excellent. I am excited. So then from here... Oh, I wonder. Go right over the top of that defense installation. I could make it all the way to here. Yeah, I totally can make that a, uh, uh, a straight shot. Then from here... This guy, way off in the distance. Right here on the edge. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll just... Get my angle again. Line up with my engineer. And there's not going to be anything good in this entire area. There, maybe? Maybe. Maybe that's the best choice. Yeah, probably right there. The edge of that ridge. Right. Here. Uh, when I think episode 1 will be out, probably Saturday, Sunday. Then, like, episodes... <laughs> it's kind of funny, I'm ending it on 69. Nice! For season 2. And that should be out Friday. And get all that stuff done. And then... Yeah, it's just a couple kilometers, but here is good. It's that last little bit of of height before we ride it. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Ride if I don't put them up on time. I'm bad at that. You guys should know that. Oh, the Twin Peaks. Yes, they're going to be on my route. I want to have them in, on the, uh, the thing no matter what. Uh, because there are some cool mountains over there that I want to get. There? This little mound? Isn't really a nice mound, but... I want to start heading towards these Twin Peaks. I'll show you what they mean. I want to start heading towards this, uh... This mountain range over here. It's a little bit north. But... If you get to the other side of the planet... It's these... Two mountain ranges... Right beside each other. I think they look awesome. They've got a nice way to drive up. They could be a great place to uh, to put this waypoint track through. So I'm going to turn off all the GPS that I made before, except for my Hanajashi 1, 2, 3, 4, and such. And... 
Uh, waypoint 1 and waypoint 2 are good. This is what we've got so far. So waypoint 1, 2, 3. Going around the planet. That's about halfway around the planet now. We're about 40% through with the, the waypoints. Waypoint 14 is right here. The starting oasis will be 55 kilometers straight through the planet. A dusty remote warrior. Yeah. Hell yeah. That'd be good. So I think that from this spot right here, I could have it be a tower a little bit up and possibly, just possibly, if instead I came back a bit further onto here and made this a bit further up, I could just tower a little bit and then I could get all the way over to there with one go. So let's move this waypoint. Waypoint 14. I'll put here instead. 14. Uh, delete. New from current position. There we go. So in that way, I just need to build a little bit of a tower, and that mountain range comes into view. So then I can go to that mountain range. All the way to here. One jump. Nice. Now, still kind of going south. That's okay. We can keep going east. There's a nice oasis there for us to gather some stuff. Uh, what can we see from where we are there? Uh, because, ooh, that mountain might actually have a better viewpoint going forward. It'll probably be the exact same in terms of being able to see back there. But this would be a better better position mountain going forward. From here to what's this? This one? Oh yeah, this is in the distance. This is good. This mountain right here. I can see 15. Yeah, this is good. GPS, move from position. And then, ooh, from here, all the way to there. Yeah, look at that freaking point out of the ground. That is excellent. Da -da, big land there. One of those two, whichever one's here. Uh, you're going to crash your Season 2 base into the planet and have it start from a wreck. I am going to start with one of my new rovers. Probably my heavy survival rover. Because I... Maybe my heavy, maybe my light survival. I'll show you guys that in a second as soon as I'm done the rest of my uh, my waypoints here. Which will probably take me another like 15 minutes or so. Probably right there. That piece of terrain. We can get over to here. Waypoint 18. Then, where is those Twin Peaks? Am I on track? Yeah, I'd have to start turning this way a little bit, but I could do that. There's that or that. Two peaks in this direction. This one is definitely further along. And then this way. So this thing here. We're just going through like desert now. Buzz just discovered my channel and has been watching season two. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you like it. And then. Hmm. It's a turn though. How much of a turn is that? 
uh, it's northeast instead of straight east, but it is a further. Yeah, it is further. And it gets me on track towards getting Twin Peaks. A Raider Let's Play would be really unique. I reckon no one else has done that yet. Raider? A Raider, yeah. Uh, let's see, from here... That one. That's really in the distance, but it's perfect. It's just visible. Right here. And I'm starting to run out of power. I don't know why we're setting up waypoints. That is okay. What we are doing is getting ready for Season 3. The idea behind Season 3... Oh God, Rover, don't flip out is that I am going to create a laser antenna network surrounding the planet. So as you can see here, I have a, uh, a few antennas, like a few spots. So we're going to start off in this oasis. There's going to be a rover, a little bit of a base, everything I need to get started then just as I go I unlock the waypoints and I'll un sort of figure out where am I going next like make the the waypoint visible and head off in that direction get to the location and when I get to the location I have to build a laser antenna station at that position to relay the antenna. I'll have to do two laser antennas per location so that it's like passes along the connection, right? But then you just keep going. This one would have to be positioned like right here or wherever it would be so that it can see both that starting one and the next one. And then it would just continue around the planet hitting all these heights of land. So essentially, I'm building like the space engineer's equivalent of uh, the beacons of Gondor from Lord of the Rings. Why is my rover on an angle? Pause. So that I can connect all the way around. Yeah, I mean, it would be pretty easy to just do regular antennas, but that's simple. This is going to be for laser antennas, which are harder and sillier. And this is probably the, the rover that I'm going to start with. And the entire time, I'm thinking I'm going to have the... Um, daily need survival, so I'm gonna you know, have to find water. If I don't find water, I'll die. <laughs> and I'm I'm contemplating making it like Iron Man. But I don't know if that's gonna be like the wisest thing to do. It might cause myself to go crazy. Uh, going east uh, next big that one. That's the next one. So here, what I need to do is just sort of sight out heights of land, and I'm just teleporting between them and laying waypoints so that I can get between them. I... Look at this. This is a good one. This is a great one right here. I could, theoretically, because I've got... I can see it from here. I can see it just barely through there. Right through that gap, all the way to this guy. Right up here. At the top of this guy. Right here. 
and then I go to that guy, and then I'm going for Twin Peaks. Cause I want to get, I want to go to that mountain. Although it's not <laughs> on my way, it's totally not on my way. On my way would be to go that way. <sighs> Fine. That mountain is out of my way. It's too far. Uh, what is that? It's too far north to hit that mountain range. Although my, uh, let's see here. My sort of line is, uh, a little crooked. <laughs> it's not perfectly a, uh, it's not perfectly east. I'm just sort of going height of land best I can. Um, but east would be this way. Line myself up. Get myself back down to my character. East would be pr probably best to do that guy over there. this tree and then I can go a nice long one here. All the way to here. That is a real nice long one. Uh, this is the stock planet size. It is... I showed it in the video that I made. Uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, the uh, stock planet. 60k across? Oh, let's see. Let's see. This is like 40 or 60k across, I think. 60k. Sixty K across. So then, right there, that red line. This is viewable. And from here, I'm guessing I have to shoot a little southeast, but that is viewable from here. This ridge. Uh. Ow. Back to winning east, which is that direction. I guess I need to sort of bounce through this canyon a little bit. If I build it right on the edge here, I could clip this thing right here. And then continuing on, I can get to that pillar. That, that is a cool pillar actually. I'll, I'll I'll enjoy having to crawl my ass up here. And then what from here? Uh, to there. Somewhere on this guy here. I didn't teleport myself, so I made that waypoint in the wrong position. Wait, new from waypoint. There we go. And every single time I teleport, I'm just a little too high, so I take a little damage when I fall. Uh, how empty is the planet? Oh, it's pretty empty. It's like, it's not as empty and flat and sort of just pure barren as Mars, but it's much easier to traverse than compared to say earth like you get into the mountains and earth like and it is just like no 
that's some bad driving there. Like, you could, this is going to be an okay drive. It's just going to be a little bit uh, annoying having to build all these locations. Uh, east, east, east is that direction. Uh, probably where? This is going to be a not so sh long one. But we're, we're, we're 30 kilometers away from the starting oasis. Ooh, baby. Oh, I could shoot for, for something over there. Yeah, this guy. This is good. I should bring the light back. Let there be light. There we go. from current position. Starting Oasis is in that direction, which is a little bit of east-northeast. So I should just aim that direction so I can get back to it. So we'll go this guy. Right up there. And then this guy. Can I see that one from here? Yes, right on the edge of this. Mm, how far can I see? I could build a tower, a 100 meter tower, to just barely nick that in order to go right to this guy right here. Could if I wanted to. Or I could find a slightly different location that would allow me to go right to here. But I think I'm going to make this the next waypoint. And from here. Over. Oh, there's that ridge there. Can I get to that one? Oh, totally, I can. Yeah, all the way to this ridge line over here. Uh, the end goal of the series is to circumnavigate it, building um, waypoints at all of the uh, waypoints as I go around. More than likely, they'll all be uh, uh, laser antennas at these places, so that everything can communicate with these with each other. But yeah, and from here, can't I can't get all the way to there? Can I? Can, is this the last one, or do I make a little jump here? Do I go to that guy first? Because I need to... I'm already going to be pretty much building a tower of both of these things. So I'm going to have a little bit of a tower here. I don't th think I want to... If I tower up to about this height, but a 100 meter tower? Yeah, if I tower up to 100 meters, I can have a straight shot all the way back to my starting base. Okay. Uh, how are you pow powering them up? Well, because the distances here are actually relatively short, it's only like... Oh, sorry. Right, there's junk on my glasses. Uh, because their distances are like under 10 kilometers each time, it's actually not that hard to power them. You just need to put a single wind turbine on each. And it should be fine. Excellent. All right, we've circumnavigated. It took us 35 waypoints. There we go. We've got circumnavigation waypoints. Uh, oh, yeah. 
I will definitely do this without uh, batteries when I'm uh, actually building it. This is just me testing stuff. So it'll just be like a wind turbine and a couple laser antennas. Because the wind turbine puts out enough power. I mean, we'll need one laser antenna, and it is currently using 102 kilowatts. And this thing can put out 173 kilowatts. Um, yeah. I'll need just like a couple little wind turbines. Uh, well, one for each antenna, essentially. So it shouldn't be that bad. I probably don't even need this battery. I will just get rid of it. And everything will still function properly. So, let's just do a little overview of our path again. Uh, which should be that if we are away from the antennas and stuff, that they won't be spotted by enemy AI. But we're going to have these, like, outposts and stuff that we need to get past and, like, fight through, which is going to be fun. Waypoint here on the top of this mountain. Somewhere in this mountain, but we have a, uh, a nice oasis here to stock up if I need to. And then continuing along through the Badlands to this little hill. I want to see, do, do I cross the, uh, the canyon? I can't remember if I, if I did. Because I was flying around too much. I've got to cross all of these canyons. Uh, there's that little driver over there. That's just drive through. You don't need to cross that. Mountaintop. Mountaintop. Next up is that mountaintop. Through the desert and climbing that thing. Then to here. Into there. To there. To there. Okay. Looks like not bad terrain so far. There's a little bit of oasis there. I'm not sure if I even go through the, uh, the major canyon. I go through the desert here for a long time. Which is gonna be fun. You don't go to the Twin Peaks. Sadly. Twin Peaks are not gonna happen. I have to go through that giant desert there. Get these places as I continue along. There's a dry lake bed here with a bunch of resources in it, which is nice. It'll be a good stopping point. To re- fresh. There's another desert here that we'll have to drive through. Heading through these canyon here. We have to get to the top of this thing in order to put a tower up there. And then we don't really cross like the deep crevasse. To there. Thirty that. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. And home. Back to the crevasse. Not the cross. The, uh, our nice little oasis. And I actually really like this little oasis here. It's perfect. It's got mountain all around, like three sides. And it has an entrance, but it has a mountain at the mouth of the entrance. And so your entrance is cut off. Like, this is... Like, if you were going to build 
a survival base in like a multiplayer rover based series like a, on like some server this is perfect your entire back part of your base is all covered with mountains and your entrance has like defilade so you could hike hide guns and tanks and stuff right in here and if the enemy tries to rush in they just blast the shit out of them it's great so where is that canyon is it running like east west there's a bit of canyon there where is that big ass canyon there it is it is just like not on my route. I'm going to go parallel to it for a while. It is running east west and I'm running east west. So therefore, I don't need to deal with it. And most I'm dealing with just the corner of it here. Uh, where is starting base again? I don't know the signal. Where am I? Da, da, da. Follow the numbers lower. Three. Waypoint two. There we go. There's the starting spot. I mean, you also have the network reach the poles. Oh, yeah. Let's first get the first circuit done, and then I can expand on it. <laughs> but I can totally see myself, after I'm done the initial circuit, to get antennas everywhere on the planet, get everything set up. I can come back to this and we can essentially transition with the same save into like what would be like season four living in this oasis, setting up a base like in the side of this mountain and doing stuff here. Then we would have like this infrastructure and all these waypoints and all that fun stuff done. Do a spider web of laser antenna network covering the entire planet. You know, the problem with laser antenna network is that it only like communicates with itself. So it would have to be like laser antenna to each other. Because like the the reason for laser antenna is to basically connect two grids without anyone really knowing that you're doing that. Because there's no like big antenna signal. It's just this laser beam. So, I could have these as laser antenna, and that would work. Or what I could do is do them as, like, just normal antennas as well. Uh, which, let's see, how much power do these things take up? Yeah. Yeah. This system is probably going to crash here. Let's add the battery back in for a second. Uh, battery is charging for some reason. Five kilometers. I could add in a regular antenna at each one of the relays if I wanted to. Because that waypoint is further than five kilometers away. How big? Antenna, I want to put you at 10,000. Yeah. yeah. I could just do normal antennas the entire route around. Because then they just need radio communication components. So then that creates, if I wanted to make uh, just a regular antenna... It, 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 it. Where is they? It's just iron and silicon. 
no gold. So that way I don't have to worry about finding gold. I just gotta find iron and silicon. Uh, what are the cords to that mountain range? You talking about the uh, Twin Peak things? Or are you mean talking about this uh, this oasis? The guy in chat. I mean, now, will you be building a ship to leave the planet? Uh, the entire time I'm going to be in a rover. Uh, the one I'm at? Uh, certainly. Uh, we've got the Waypoint 1 down there. Let me go and first stick my ass into the rover, and then I'll give you the coordinates of Waypoint 1. Uh, GPS. Waypoint 1. Coordinates on screen now. I will copy to clipboard, and uh, paste them in chat. GPS. Waypoint 1. Starting Oasis. Yeah, I can make my life a bit easier by just putting normal antennas there. And then if I do normal antennas, I could also do the other axis. Because that would make it like a little bit easier here. Like I'd have that circle around and then I could go north instead. So this is my eastward wrapping around path. And then I could just like go south or go north. If I did that, if I went north, which way would that point me? I'd be pointing this way. Where's my character? Yeah, pointing that direction. And I could start setting up heights of land radio antennas this way. Going all the way around this way. Then I have to cross the canyon. Cross my own path there. Come back around here. And end up uh, I didn't go in a straight line. Oh no I did, there's waypoint one. And end up back at my oasis. But I like those waypoints that I've made. Ah, uh, no, of course, I'll go through and, like, name them all, but I've got them in here now. And I've got some other places that I want to, you know, if they're on my route, I will take a look at them sort of thing. Um, well, I think we're actually going, going through the Great Desert? Ah, oh, no, these are, these are off. These are over here. These dried lakes, they are not near my, uh, route. And my route is, like... <laughs> It's so biasing one of the hemispheres. Like I'm going from here and then I'm like circling the t like the top of the planet and not really like going along the equator. But hey, it's something. Well, yeah, the whole planet is great desert, but this is like this is like desert desert like with dunes and sand that go on to the horizon sort of thing that's the great desert <laughs> where the rest of the planet is more of like bad landsy kind of feel you now it's got a little bit of shrubbery or outcroppings and crags and such
I like this little section here. It's like desert in the middle of this uh, plateau. <laughs> the Escape from Mars guy has to redo it in this planet because it's so much better for Rover. It's like so cooler, I find. Yeah. I think this will take me a while to get through all of these waypoints. Make that entire lap around the planet. I can deviate from it as well if I want to. If I decide, nah, let's go this way instead. I can deviate. It's still going to take me a while. So, what I'm thinking is giving me this rover to start with. I'm just going to... Can I not... Can I not select these all and turn them all off at once? I cannot. Okay. Because uh, I'll just hide them this way. There we go. Signal's off. This is my heavy survival rover that I have designed. Uh, it needs a little bit of upgrades, a little bit more work. I'm going to give it the off-road wheels instead. Because off-road wheels look amazing. And update its uh, suspension and stuff. But I was just waiting for this, this update to drop so I could actually finish off my rovers. And then get those on the workshop. And this thing should have everything I need to get started. Um, there's also my light survival rover, which you guys can tell me. Which one do you want me to start with? Which is essentially uh, this guy, the big guy, but in a very compact package. Uh, remember to use the one where you actually ported the turret? Yes, 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 it's there. It's connected, god damn it. See? It's connected. So I have two options to start with. Um, if I'm starting with the... Um, actually, I don't think it actually matters if I'm doing with or without the daily needs necessities mod. I think this one will be fine with it. But yeah, they both have antennas, hydrogen engines, um, H2O2 generators, survival kits. Uh, this one has a lot more storage. This has a medium cargo container, a oxygen tank, several hydrogen tanks, a solar panel. Uh, this one does not have a solar panel. It has no extra storage. So it is, when it needs something, it needs to be running in order to make that. Where this one just can, you know, turn off its O2 generator if it's full and just run on tanks for a while. Make it would be fun to start with the uh, the little ones that, you know, it's like, oh, I got this little thing I need to build up first. I need to build a bigger rover before I can get going. But then with a larger one, I could just like go. <laughs> like this is literally just hit the ground running. Attach both and make a mega survival rover. I don't need both. One thing I'm going to do immediately upon starting this, though, is... Because I'm going to forget the entire route. I'm going to turn off all of the waypoints. I'm going to only turn them on when I get to a waypoint. I'll turn on the next one. Is I'm just going to build a tiny little uh, drone that I'll attach to the back of it. That'll essentially just be my little spy camera. So I can take control of that via remote control and it can fly up and it can be my little spectator cam to fly up and 
sort of just give me an idea of what I'm driving into and then come on back down and connect back up and uh, you know, it's, it'll be my scout drone that'll be probably the first thing I build yeah I said I said I cannot fly my my character cannot fly but it didn't mean that I couldn't make a drone I'm gonna make a drone for mining I'm gonna make a drone for scouting but I myself am not going to fly if like as the human character I have to get around I said I <laughs> we can rewind the tapes if you want but I said that uh, I wouldn't fly not that I couldn't make a grid that could fly and besides I'm gonna have the wing blocks on here because I want to see if I can get up to it actually let's go fuck with that right now uh, we'll leave this guy here just because we can I want to go to a really high mountain and I put ring blocks on a rover and then drive off the mountain see if I can fly where is a nice tall pillar I know there were some on our travels here uh, back this way a bit probably there was a really good couple mountains over here like this this is a good mountain yeah <laughs> extending periscope it would be so freaking difficult to extend a periscope far enough for it to like matter uh whatever let's just plot my butt here let's spawn in a uh, one of my scout my light scout or something like that and I want to throw some wings on it Yeah, baby. If I get driving. Come on. If I go off a ramp or something, can I fly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And I automatically pitch for glide. <laughs> I mean, it's silly. <laughs> I'm recruiting all your Lego from 10 years old. <laughs> it's so true, though. I'll just... Uh, wing angled one, wing angled two. Wait a second. More wing. There we go. More wing. Yeah. Wee. Yay! Look at that. I've got a little hover crew rover. automatically just comes in for a nice landing okay totally have to go and like plunk this thing down somewhere on the top of a mountain and then run off the mountain with it that's just how we have to do it somewhere where I can get a run up right here right here and then I can go right off a cliff let's just plunk its ass right there ow okay that's good enough Driving up the hill here. Woohoo! See, that is how you get down from a mountain in style. Ba boom. 
<laughs> yeah, this this is automatically pitching up because I've got the uh, driver assist um, script on here, so that it uh, it it preps you for landing because it's thinking you don't have wings. It's essentially so that if you drive your rover off of a ramp, you'll you'll land at a at an angle so that you'll go rear wheel first. So it's uh, designed to uh, sort of soften your landing, the script. So if I fly off something like this, oh god, that pitched directly straight down. That wasn't nice. Uh, testing the wheels not popping. I guess we kind of are testing the no popping wheels. We're, we're kind of throwing shit at this. But I was thinking I could make like a little remote control plane to uh, be my scout. So that's essentially the prep that I needed to do. I'm pretty much ready to uh, start the series in that sense. Uh, maybe build a few things back at the uh, starting oasis. I have to rename all these GPS locations into like waypoints. And then, yeah, delete the rest of this stuff and it should be good. So for now, let's just screw around for a few minutes as there is cool shit we can build. And I might as well just screw around. Uh, so let's turn off driver assist. So you're not going to help me anymore. We've got plenty of wing. We need some sci-fi thrusters. Get me going here. Let's get it going. Okay. Gyroscope, you're not overriding you anymore. We need you, Gyro. So easy to make a plane with this these wing blocks. Uh Empyrean. I do not know what Empyrean is. So I have I've never considered playing it because I don't know what it is. Uh, ore detector? Yes, there's an ore detector on all my ships that I make. Eee. Soon we'll be back at the uh, starting oasis. This is only 20 kilometers away. Or hell, we can do a uh, little flyby of this. Uh, what is this? It's Frontier Outpost. That sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, essentially, to a flyover of this outpost is going to be the same as crashing it. <laughs> the Stuka dive sound. You could put the Stuka dive sound onto a sound block and then, I don't know, check your... Check your altitude, and if your altitude drops too quickly, you get the Stuka dive sound. Uh. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh, god damn. Okay, grids. Let's go small grids. Uh. Oh, that thing, get rid of that one, get rid of all that stuff. There we go. It, it crashed in the end. I survived the rover destruction and I was riding its wheel right into the ground where then I died. <laughs> uh, 
Modify weather to electrical storm. Oh, that modified where my camera was. Rip. Modify weather to electrical storm. That's beautiful. Isn't that one of the like they they said they added a couple new um Oh thunderstorm. Thunderstorm heavy. Is this too this this feels too wet for this planet. This is too rainy. It's totally the electrical storm that was the uh, weather that they added for, for, for this planet. Because they had sandstorm before, right? Sandstorm? Is that what they added? Ooh. Like, imagine having no waypoints. Like, this is my third-person camera. I can't see my rover. <laughs> like, look how frickin'... This, this weather is going to be cool. Because this is the first time I'm going to play with weather. I haven't put it on in Season 2 yet. Hey, that's great. I'm excited for that. Okay. I think that is all that I needed to do to get ready for Season 3. Besides, you know, some stuff I need to do off camera. Renaming shit and... Making a couple little structures here to get myself started. Sort of thing. But... The rules are as follows. Oh god, my my camera. Where? Oh. Nice weather. Uh, let me go back to my thing here. Where is it? There. There's the bison. I want a nice uh, image of me standing beside my rover as like the final thing. But then 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 me just right here, that like that. Yeah, go the nice big Brova engineer looking wonderfully off into the distance. Then we'll give it a nice... Eh, where do we want to put the sun? Somewhere. Eh, somewhere around there. The rules are as follows. I must circumnavigate the planet on rovers. I, myself, as in my character, and any grid that I inhabit cannot fly under powered flight. The key words being that I inhabit them or if I'm it's, or if it's under powered. I can be in a glider and I could make a drone that can fly, but I can't be in the drone or I can't put engines on my glider. Because then it wouldn't be a glider, it would be a plane. Essentially, if I get myself to the top of a mountain, I can glide off of it. Because it would make my life so much easier. And I can make a little drone to fly around so that I can use it for scouting and uh, maybe for some specific mining operation or something like that. I have to, at each location, build up a little outpost, which will contain some antennas and wind turbines and maybe some batteries, who knows. Must follow my waypoints and get around the planet. 
It's going to be good. Make a launching rail. I so totally could make some sort of like clang launching thing to like launch a glider and get like halfway around the planet in one glide. But I need to stop and build a freaking antenna like every like 10 kilometers or so. So it, <laughs> it's not going to be that useful. But that, that's the idea for the start of season three. That's the concept. Uh, I can't use spectator camera to scout. I have to use a scouting thing. I uh, just I figured out my my route with the waypoints, but I have no idea because I didn't like go and see where I'll actually drive off to figure that out as I go. There is going to be uh, enemy installations, assertive installations, uh, economy, weather. I'm thinking of adding in some like big boys like Reavers. So I can cry as they chase me down. And if my rover gets completely destroyed. And I cannot respawn there. I guess I lose. Or would I have to respawn back at the start. Build a new rover. <laughs> and then <laughs> head out again sort of thing. I'm not sure. I'll figure that out. But that's essentially it. New update is awesome. I'm going to be working on it a lot. I got Friday off this week, so I'll be recording and working on stuff on Friday. And... Getting some content out. So thanks, you guys, for swinging by and seeing this. But that's pretty much it for now. I just wanted to show off the... Uh, root creation that I was going to do. And after I have done a circumnavigation of the planet and set up all my little relays around it, I will arrive back here at the starting oasis, park my rover back in its little shady spot under the tree, and then call that season three. And then pretty much flow directly into like season four, which will be building up a base and living in this canyon because this canyon looks awesome I love this little oasis I am so glad I found it that is going to be it for now thanks for watching and good hunting out there fellow space engineers <laughs>